Good late Sunday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on the September 1st of 2019. And sure enough, we did have the sun return to brighten things up and really warm us up compared to the struggle it was to warm up yesterday. We will continue to keep an eye on a few systems as we head toward the week, but will one of those systems include Dorian? So we've got quite a bit to get through here, so let's just get right to it. First with the uh, time lapse just outside of Indigo Sky Casino and Resort, also located outside of Seneca, Missouri. We did have partly the mostly sunny skies all day long, thankfully quite a bit more sun compared to yesterday. That's why we only made it into the mid-70s for highs of Joplin Regional. Compared that to today, we were closer to our average high of 88 degrees with today's official high of 85. In fact, over the past 10 days, we've been flirting with average temperatures on a couple days, but we've been in a really impressive stretch of temperatures running quite a bit below normal over the past week and a half. We'll try and go a little bit warmer as we head into the coming week before we see a few more systems try to sneak in here and play a little havoc with our temperatures. For the time being, though, just before the 11 o'clock hour on the Sunday night, 7th of range line looking nice and quiet under mostly clear skies, we are sitting at 73 at last check at Joplin Regional, downtown Joplin faring the same. The humidity, though, starting to climb back up again at 87%. So with increasing humidity as temperatures near the dew point again, coupled that with mostly clear skies and that light breeze, that will set us up for some areas of fog once again before we see uh, the sun rise on your Labor Day morning. Otherwise, temperatures outside the rest of the region, we are seeing uh, upper 60s in Iola, Fort Scott in the Beta, and everybody else sitting mainly in the lower to middle 70s. It'll be a slow drop off in temperatures from here on out at this point. Back near 70 by midnight, and then we'll bottom out around 67 degrees before we hit sunrise first thing Monday morning. Again, some areas of fog will be possible late during the overnight and closer to sunrise. Then any morning fog will quickly burn away. And we'll be wasting no time warming up again, close to 83 by noon on your Labor Day. The Skywatch Storm Tracker didn't really have much to track today, which is a good thing. Usually we want quiet weather on a weekend, and that's what we were granted with today. Even with a little bit of cloud cover, even a few thunderstorms just south and east of the area, closer to, uh, let's say, Fayetteville and Fort Smith and skirting just north of Little Rock, we kept things nice and quiet. Unfortunately, it's not the same for our neighbors off to the southeast you can see what's churning over the northern bahamas that is still an impressive display on the satellite and radar presentation of hurricane dorian the last check of things from the national hurricane center still pegs us as a very strong category five with sustained wind speeds of 180 miles per hour it's continuing its westward track at six miles per hour eventually though it will begin to take that northerly jog as we head through not only Labor Day, but into Tuesday. But we still need to watch on when we'll see that northerly turn take place. With it being held off just a little bit, we have seen that track shift a little bit closer, too close for comfort still, along the Florida shoreline, along the Atlantic coast. So areas, let's say in general, between Miami and Jacksonville, need to keep a very close eye on Dorian as we head especially into Tuesday. As we go into the middle of the week, as it moves away from the warmer ocean waters and with some interaction with land, this will eventually weaken quite a bit, maybe a Category 3 storm by Wednesday evening, but this will still continue to hug the coast. And then if impacting the Carolinas with maybe some dangerous storm surge, and not to mention uh, some strong winds, either tropical storm to hurricane force. Then as we head toward the end of the coming week, we should see this weaken enough to be a Category 1 and hopefully at this point back over the open waters of the Atlantic and farther away from land. Well, that being said, Dorian, based on that projected track, will not be an issue for us. We'll continue to stay underneath this upper level ridge as we go into your Labor Day. Thankfully, with the brunt of it still to the west, we don't have to worry about a hot Labor Day this time around. However, we are watching our next cold front that we'll try to sneak in here as we head toward Wednesday. So let's focus on the future track with tonight and Labor Day first and foremost. We'll be keeping things nice and quiet for tonight. Again, mostly clear skies to start. But again, as temperatures near the dew point in some spots, that could lead to some areas of fog. So that's something to keep in mind if you have to be going back to work on your Labor Day morning. 
Otherwise, we're looking at a mild start. Lows dropping off to 67. And we'll, again, be wasting no time warming things up throughout the course of the day with a light southeast breeze at 5 to 10 and mostly sunny skies. That should get us to 83 by noon. Droplets should be topping out around 88 for Monday afternoon. In fact, everybody should at least be back into the upper 80s. Can't rule out, though, uh, a few 90-degree readings. The closer you get to Benita, Grove, Nawada, and especially down near Tulsa as you work deep in the green country in northeast Oklahoma. So we will still continue to be underneath, in general, this upper-level ridge as we head into Labor Day and your Tuesday. In fact, with it being a little bit stronger Tuesday, that could be enough to get highs back near 90 underneath mostly sunny skies again as we head toward Tuesday. Then remember that cold front. That and a little bit of a uh, upper-level wave will send highs back into the mid-80s for Wednesday. But you can see with Jetstream set up, this will start to grab Dorian, and that will certainly help contribute this northerly jog as we head toward the middle of the week. For us, though, again, as long as that jet stream is still nearby, temperatures will be near the seasonal average Thursday and Friday. We're talking about upper 80s for highs, partly to mostly sunny skies. Then we could see another system, not only in the upper levels, but down at the surface, work, work in by the weekend. Not only could that give us a shot for rain and thunderstorms by the coming weekend, that could be enough to send highs back into the mid-80s, especially by Saturday and Sunday, uh, with Sunday afternoon showing a high of 84. Before we see that system work in, we'll keep things quiet for your Labor Day with highs of 88. 90 on Tuesday, quick moving front, knocks us back into the mid-80s on Wednesday. And again, temperatures not looking too bad overall as we get your first full week of September underway. Have a good night, have a great Monday, and a great Labor Day.